Hello there, and welcome to the Pets of Plenty channel. Are you torn between owning an American hairless terrier and a Chinese crested? These two canines can be similar in some aspects while being very different in others. We understand that this can be very challenging, so we created this video just for you. Today on the channel, we have gathered all the helpful information about these breeds to help you make an informed judgment when selecting a companion. So stay tuned to the end as the American American Hairless Terrier and the Chinese Crested battle for their differences and similarities in what promises to be a fiercely contested duel, all to stake their claim as the best dog for you. Before we go further, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets of Plenty membership after clicking the join button. Now, let's get into the video. The American Hairless Terrier versus Chinese Crested. Let's start the fight. Round 1. Dog Breed History Chinese crested dogs do not actually originate from China. It's believed that they originated from African or Mexican hairless dogs that the Chinese bred. That said, this breed has also gone by the titles Chinese hairless, Chinese edible dog, Chinese ship dog, and Chinese royal hairless in the past. The Chinese crested was thought to have magical healing powers by the Chinese, and they also used them as living heating pads. <laughs> yes, you heard correctly. Heating pads. They were kept by sailors and by the emperors of China. In the 1530s, the dog was put to work on Chinese ships as ratters to hunt vermin. As early as the 1700s, when European tourists visited Chinese seaports and boarded Chinese commerce vessels, records of a hairless dog nearly resembling the Chinese crested were found. It's not clear when the breed first came to North America, but in 1974, the first breed club was set up here. The American Hairless Terrier is the only native dog breed in the United States lacking hair. The breed came into being as a result of a lucky accident. In 1972 in Trout, Louisiana, one rat terrier puppy was born without hair for the first time in recorded history. The dog's owners, Edwin and Willie Scott, tried to breed her with other rat terriers. Still, they weren't successful in producing another hairless pup until decades later. Then, they had a litter of two hairless puppies, one male and one female. From then on, they collaborated with a geneticist and a veterinarian to develop the breed until it was recognized in 2004 as a distinct breed from the Rat Terrier and in 2016 as an American Kennel Club breed. Given their unique origins, I think giving each breed a point for this round is fair. Round 2. Appearance the American Hairless Terrier ranges in shoulder height from 12 to 16 inches and is available in both coated and hairless breeds. The hairless species has eyebrows and whiskers. The coat has a short, lustrous coat. The hairless skin is silky and warm to the touch. Both breeds have heads that are wider and wedge-shaped. Their curious eyes are surrounded by round, expressive ears in the shape of a V. Their round eyes can be yellow, brown, gray, turquoise, or blue, among other colors. A Chinese crested's typical height ranges from 11 to 13 inches for both sexes and typically may weigh up to 12 pounds. The hairless variety is more widely recognized because, seriously, who can forget a naked dog? The powder puff breed, however, is entirely coated in soft, silky fur. On the other hand, the hairless version has hair on specific parts of the body, including the head, tail, and feet from the toes to the front pasterns and rear hock joints. The texture of every hair is smooth and silky, and it flows freely regardless of the length. The hairless skin is silky and soft to touch. As is the case with the majority of hairless breeds, this breed has a crooked or missing tooth. The powder puff variant has a second layer of soft and silky coating. Long guard hairs cover a short, silky undercoat. The length and thickness of the coat are somewhat straight and moderately long. Any color or color combination is possible. It's impossible to deny that each breed is stunning in its own way, so let's give them one point each. It's two points for the Hairless Terrier and two for the Chinese Crested. Round 3. Temperament 
It's never easy to generalize about the temperament of a dog breed, as every dog has a unique temperament. Numerous factors influence a dog's behavior, and the AHT is intelligent, curious, and somewhat stubborn. They make excellent family dogs. This is not your typical couch potato dog. They have a lot of energy. If that energy isn't discharged, it may be destructive and barky. Owners then need to make out time for their terrier. These dogs are territorial and make good guard dogs. The Chinese Crested Dog is a calm, good-natured, and friendly breed that develops a strong attachment with its owner. Regardless of where you live, the dog's bright and adaptive disposition keeps it highly awake and attentive to its owner and surroundings. This breed is adaptable, making it great for training and learning tricks. However, because of the dog's sensitive nature, you should avoid being harsh or overbearing with him. It appears neither dog is giving up points as the battle rages on. This is shaping up to be a keenly contested fight indeed. One point each, everyone. We are now down to three points each. Round 4. Socialization a well-socialized puppy develops into a well-mannered dog who is a beautiful friend. When placed in a strange setting, a socialized dog does not react aggressively or fearfully to people or objects. Before your crested or AHT puppy is three months old, start socializing them. Introduce various sights, sounds, and smells to your dog in indoor and outdoor settings. After he has begun his vaccination series, don't forget to introduce him to people and other pets. They are both good at socialization, however, they need to be started early to get a well-mannered dog. So here we go, it's one point each once again. The figures are in everyone, four points for the AHT and four for the Crested. Round 5. Grooming Essential grooming is necessary for an AHT, but the skin must be treated with additional care. The breed lacks a coat, leaving the dog's skin exposed and needing special care. About once a week, bathe your dog with a gentle shampoo and dry his skin. In hot weather, apply a moisturizing sunscreen. Be sure to use a canine safe brand and cover its body. He will require a sensible, well-fitting coat when exercising outside in the winter. If your home is drafty, the dog may even need to wear a fleecy jumper indoors. Even though the crested has no hair, it nonetheless needs grooming. Both the powder puff and the hairless have unique grooming requirements. The hairless crested might have skin issues like dry skin, sunburn, or acne. You should clean the crested with a mild shampoo and slather on sunscreen before going outside. If he attempts to lick it off, choose a brand your physician recommends for the dog. Each day, the powder puff's silky coat must be brushed or combed. Use a gentle dog shampoo when bathing him every few weeks. His nails should be cut as needed and his teeth brushed for general health and fresh breath. The AHT pulls ahead for grooming better. Let's see if the crested has the fight in him to even up the scores. No, he doesn't. The point for this round goes to the AHT, so it's five points to four for the crested. Round 6. Exercise Physical activities make dogs healthy, quiet, less destructive, and happy. The AHT is intelligent and enjoys having a task to do. Problem behaviors may start to emerge if it's left alone for an excessive amount of the day and isn't provided adequate exercise or stimulation. He likes short bursts of activity but not in the direct sun, so a few short walks a day along with up to 30 minutes and a quick game of fetch, indoors or outdoors, should be enough for exercise. This dog enjoys getting to the ground, whether it's by digging holes on its own or into ones that have already been made. Small rodents like chipmunks will be their primary prey. They are fierce, loving, sociable, and curious, making them excellent watchdogs. The Chinese crested dog doesn't need much playtime or daily exercise. Its extra energy can be released with a few quick, vigorous walks. Having balls or toys on hand is also a brilliant idea. 
This breed is athletic enough to compete in agility and small dog sports. They're perceptive and teachable enough to become therapy dogs. Both breeds need minimal exercise, but the Crested wins this round with its less demanding nature. It's five points for the AHT and five for the Crested. We have a tie for everyone. Round 7. Training Every dog needs some obedience training, although some are simpler to teach than others. Chinese Crested are intelligent and easily trained, so much more than AHTs. Training should be straightforward at a younger age due to a dog's willingness to comply with instructions and fondness for its owner. However, you should be as pleasant and patient with the training as forcing a dog can lead to some challenges. Keep your exercise sessions brief, diverse, and enjoyable you'll notice positive outcomes. Finally, if you believe you cannot train your dog on your own, you might consider seeking expert assistance. The Crested takes this one. It's six to five points for the AHT. Round eight, diet and nutrition. Being a small-sized dog, the Chinese Crested, like many other toy breeds, is easily overfed. Feed once or twice a day, but no more than one-fourth of a cup daily. Because this breed is prone to rashes and skin irritation, many owners choose an allergy-specific diet in addition to regular grooming. The American Hairless Terrier's feeding requirements may differ from other breeds. They should not be fed foods containing soy, wheat, or maize. As pups, they they must be fed at least three to four times a day in little amounts, and as adults, twice daily. They both get one point each for this round. We're now at seven points for the Crested and six for the AHT. Round 9. Health the Chinese crested hairless skin must be treated like ours. If exposed to too much sunlight without protection, it will burn. They might have dry skin, acne, and allergies. Therefore, skin care is vital. It doesn't get many toy bread illnesses. The hairless has a primitive mouth and weak, pointy teeth, but not powder puffs. Lens luxation, progressive retinal atrophy, glaucoma, luxating patellas, leg perthes disease, and canine multiple system degeneration are potential health risks for this breed. This breed lives 10 to 14 years on average. There aren't many health issues affecting the sturdy AHT. Its health issues are caused mainly by its lack of hair. The breed is prone to sunburn, rashes, acne, and allergies. They frequently require clothes in all seasons to protect them from the sun's heat or the cold. This is especially true if they use sunscreen as they are vulnerable to skin diseases. Hip dysplasia is another major problem problem in this little breed whose lifespan is 13 to 16 years. The AHT lives longer than everyone, so it deserves the point for this round, giving us a tie again. So we declare this match a draw. In conclusion, every human has a choice. It's vital to consider your personal needs and environment during adoption. Both dog breeds can work excellently as a pet or companions. This is simply our evaluation. Remember, yours may be different. In addition, before adopting a dog, do well to seek professional advice from the breeder and your veterinarian. What are your thoughts on today's contest? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.